Questions? So right here on the left, and we'll James say. You know, obviously more opportunities for you to use your legs in this game, get out in space. Um, how did that feel for you just in general? In this game? Yeah, I mean, it feels good. I think a lot of people, you know, want me to switch to running back. Um, <laughs> I, I think, you know, the new day and age of college football, uh, they want quarterbacks to run, um, but I think it's uh, when it's needed as well. And, and I believe, you know, when we get in those certain situations, you know, there's trust in my legs, but also uh, just trust and belief in everyone, you know, up front to you know, help, help me out as well. Yeah, and the guys you know, setting the edge on that, you know, 54 yard run. I mean, you know, just does that lead into what you're talking about? And just those guys making those plays. For sure. You know, it's it's all blocked downfield. I, I mean, I didn't get touched on on the run, so it's it's things that you know people don't see that you know help me you know make that play happen. So I'm um, just proud of the guys up front. I, I think you know. Just the way they've competed and continue to do so, uh, it's it's been uh, you know, great to see. Brian's going to hold on me asking two questions. James, <laughs> seven scoring drives, six touchdowns. That has barely been stopped at all. Is this what does that one feel like when it's not efficient, when it's not effective, and it looks like what I guess a lot of people expected it to look like? Yeah, it, it feels good. Um, I just think you know as we continue to execute at a high level and play within the system. Um, I think you're seeing confidence, you know, from everyone within that. Um, but then also us, you know, moving together and, and finding, you know, kind of our identity as well. And, you know, I've said that before, but you just see all these players start to make plays and with the ball in their hands and it makes my job a lot easier. But then, of course, we talk about it up front. You know, I'm, I'm super proud of those guys and pass pro, run pro, um, just communication, you know, on the road. Uh, things that you haven't, I haven't done with them, you know, and they haven't done with me. So. Uh, things you learn and, and continue to grow from. Rob Mosley on the left. Given the balance you had offensively, the job of defensive, the second half shutout, just, is there a one key big reason you think kind of everything clicked? You know, everything under the umbrella kind of seemed to click today. Yeah, not panicking. You know, I think, like I said, we live in a world where if it doesn't look a certain way, right, uh, uh, there's opinions, but there's also, you know, panic, right? And I, I just love how everyone in the building has continued to just focus on the process and, and getting better every single day. Um, and I think that allowed us to just play confident, play free, and let it loose. Uh, let it loose so. All right, Eric, what's it like starting a game 15 completions? Good. I, I mean, you don't really think about it in, in the time, but I think when you, you know, watch it back, you, you look at ways to create completions, create positive plays. You know, we talk about that a bunch. Um, and keep moving the chains. Uh, and that uh, not only Builds rhythm, but I think builds you know confidence and, and continue to build you know drives uh, from series to series. So uh, uh, it's, you know, that's how you'd love to write it up. So back right, Matt. Last week after Boise, you said things had to change because you can't continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. Yeah. What what changed this week for you guys? A bunch. I, I would love to tell you, but then. You know the Krabby Patty secret formula was out. So, <laughs> um, no, we just you know day to day within practices we, we change things that you know could help us and benefit us, um, and that's for you know every individual position group, but then us as a unit, and then I, you know obviously as a whole team. But um, I think we continue to make adjustments, and that doesn't stop. But um, of course you find kind of the formula for for your group and and keep building upon it. Right here on the right. You talk about confidence, comfortability, easing that panic, something that everyone kind of see it, saw we're going to football do as a whole today. But we also saw you back there. You looked more comfortable. You looked more confident. We saw you dancing and celebrating. What did that feel like for you? Did you feel like you finally felt that comfortability back then for the first time? I, I think I always have felt that way. Um, but more importantly, you know, I always tell the online, you give me the time, I'll, I'll do the crime. So um, they've continued to do that, and I'm proud of them. I think it goes to show. Um, with, it, with any, you know, offense, I think when it, there's an offensive line playing at a high level, it allows the quarterback to play, you know, deficient, clean, um, and then of course the run game hit and like they did, uh, they killed it, so. Back left, Brent. After the last two games and things being a little tighter than you wanted at the end, how, how good did it feel to be able to come out midway through that fourth quarter and, and just be able to, to watch a game and know that you guys did a good enough job for you not to be out there? Yeah, it felt good. I think the, the biggest piece of that is like being able to see guys who put in equal amount of time and work, you know, be able to go on that field. And um, I think that is huge in itself. But also, I think winning in general, you know, like there's no better feeling. And just finding a way to go plus one is, 
is something that um, you want to do. Of course, you want to dominate and, and um, do it a certain way, but um, I think adversity early and, and finding ways to win um, together as a, a team that you know was building itself up, I, I think that's important too. Staying in the back later. Do you feel like Dan talks about just playing Oregon football and everyone's <clears throat> talked about playing up to the standard. Do you feel like this kind of is what you've seen in practice and finally you're able to do it when it matters this week? Or do you feel like there has been a really big jump in games and practice from weeks one and two to this week? Yeah, I think in practice you, you look at it, whether it's penalties or negative plays or sacks on my end. Um, I, I think a combination of a lot of things that you know were self-inflicted. Um, not saying other teams weren't doing, they, they were killing it as well, but um, there's, a, there's a point to an offense where you're just not executing. Um, and I felt like, you know, I said it, we, we shot ourselves in the foot, you know, enough times to where um, we had to fix it. And I think when you, you see, you know, wins like this, it's because you're executing at a high level, the run game's hidden, you know, you're not in as many third downs and you're converting on third downs. So, um, you know, I think you look back, you, you want that flat to chase back to, you know, Get the plus four, seven points instead of three, but um, that's things we'll continue to do. Staying in the back, Brett. Dylan, 84% completion rate, nearly 1,000 yards passing and six touchdowns in the first three games. What do you contribute your, your early success and your start here at the University of Oregon these first three games, too? Teammates, you know, I, I think uh, it's very apparent that you can't do this alone, you know, and that's why we love football, right? It's a, a, the greatest you know, team sport, you know, ever. Uh, because all 11 have to click, you know, on all cylinders. And it's extremely tough to do so, right? Um, but I, I think it, it's all because of them and us coming together and finding ways. Um, but, you know, I think the, the confidence in one another um, and continue to just keep fighting, uh, I think that's helped me a bunch, you know, uh, the camaraderie between us. Three more, we go Al, Chris, then Tyson. Um, you've alluded to it a little bit, but I believe no sacks today. Um, one, what do you make of, of the offensive line's performance today and keeping those clean pockets, but also on your end, what, what do you think you did better to avoid attacks? Yeah, I think I'll start on my end. I think just creating completions and, and, you know, trying to get the ball out, um, but also, you know, moving when necessary and staying in the pocket when I don't have to. Um, but I, I do think the pro is good all day. I don't think I really was touched. So um, I, I can't even explain how proud I am of them. I just like the way they continue to fight, you know, and uh, those are five guys you, you want to go to bat with, you know, or six, seven guys that, you know, I, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. Chris, all right. Yeah, you described the Idaho game and the Boise State game as strenuous for the offense. I'm wondering if you have a word to describe today's performance. Explosive. Uh, if you have explosives, it helps you, you know. Uh, I, I think we lacked that early on, um, but you're starting to see that happen, you know. A four-play drive instead of 15. You know, I, I I think that's common sense too. It's easier to mess up in 15 plays than four, right? So uh, I think when you have explosive plays, it helps, um, creates momentum, creates rhythm, um, allows you to be on the plus side of the field more. Um, there, there's just a lot that, that goes with that. Last question, Tyson, on the right. This is the one time you'll play Oregon State, and I'm I'm curious how you would. Describe what it's like to be in, like, what the college football rivalry thing is, is like for somebody who's kind of a journeyman or who's been through three different, you know, swings of this with different programs. I think there's just more that comes with it, um, and a lot of history, um, which I appreciate, you know, as a guy playing the game. Um, but more importantly, you know, I remember when I was a kid watching, you know, Marcus play the Civil War and his, his famous hurdle. Like, those are things you don't forget. Um, and then I think all week you, you hear about the rivalry, so um, I appreciate it. I think any way we can you know, keep rivalry games, uh, I think it's important, um, not only for the fans, but the players as well, and, and there's always an extra edge. You to do to what, what was unforgettable about this one this year? Gosh, it was just fun. You know, I had a blast. Um, I, I just have appreciated playing in a bunch of new places, you know, uh, you know, from the southeast all the way up to the northwest. I think you just appreciate different environments. Um, sometimes it's fun, you know, hearing fans just chirp at you. Um, so I'll, I'll appreciate everything that came with it, and then of course you let go. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.